Hi friends, I'm Miss Holly. I'm back again for another fun art project today. In today's lesson, you learned about Isaiah and you heard that he was called by God. and He didn't feel worthy, but God knew he was. We're going to make angels today because in the story they were winged creatures and they had six wings. So get out a pencil and paper and together we're going to make some angels to help us remember the story of Isaiah and remember that you are worthy and you have big things to do that God has called you to do. Let's get started. Okay, so first you need to get your paper and pencil and we're going to take our paper and fold it in half. So we're going to cut our work in half by folding this paper. We are going to trace our hand three different ways. So isn't that interesting? Everything you need is right there in your hand. Just like everything Isaiah needed, God had already given him. So here you take your first hand and I'm going to put it right here on the edges so I can get as much as I can on this piece of paper because I still need two more shapes I'm going to trace. So I'm going to lightly trace around my hand. I'm going to kind of finish this off so it fits on the page. Here's my first shape. That's my hand like this. The second thing, I'm going to take my fingers and thumb together like this. This is a little more difficult to trace, but same thing, I'm going to go around one, two fingers and my thumb. And now I need to close this shape. That's shape number two. For shape number three, I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to press them down like this, bending my fingers, think of like my knuckles going around here. Same thing, I need to kind of close that shape. So now you have three shapes and you're going to cut these out. Remember, this is folded so you can cut them together. I think it's easiest to cut them apart first. So I'm going to start with the big one, cut that apart. Cut my two smaller ones apart. And this hinge will keep it together on the fold. So I'm going to carefully cut around. Here's the first pair of wings. Now when I get to the edge, I'm going to go ahead and cut all the way around here so that my wings are not attached. If you want them attached, you could leave them attached. I'm going to separate them. So I now have two wings. My next piece of paper. And we're cutting through both portions. I have another pair of wings. And my smallest pair comes next. All right, so now you can take some time. I am going to flip my wings over like this. This might be easiest for you to make sure you're drawing on the correct side. Now you can go back and you can add some detail. I'm going to start at the bottom where the fingers are and I'm going to extend lines up to give the idea of feathers. I'm going to just start freehand filling in as much as I want for the detail. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. And you can keep going and filling in how you think it looks best. You could make some small feathers at the top. Okay, and then go on to your next set of wings. It's easy to start where the fingers and thumbs are and then go from there filling it in. See how that starts to look like wings? And then your last pair. And again, it's up to you as detailed as you'd like to make it. You can make a lot of small feathers as well. But now we have the wings for our angel. Next, we need to make the body for our angel. So I just laid the big wings out here to help me think about the size. 
So up here, I'm going to sketch the area for the head. And I'm going to fill this page. So I'm going to come down. My angel might have a, a robe on. I can decide. Okay, so next you can add details. If you want to have a face, or you could leave without a face, it's up to you. It could be very simple and abstract. Like this. It's up to you as details as you would like to make it. So the next step will be cutting out our angel body. Now you can bring back your wings and pieces and decide how you'd like to do this. So I will need to add my wings. And I'm going to have the big ones in the back. You get a glue stick and you can glue those on. Like this. And the other side. And there were some wings to hide their face. So you could decide how you'd like to attach it yourself. Would you like them on the side here? Would you like them up here? That's up to you. I think how it makes most sense for you. What you think looks nice. Remember, you're the artist here. We are using our imagination to figure out what the angel would look like along with the description from the Bible. And it said that there are some wings to hide their feet. So could their wings be up here? Um, maybe below here. I think you can make that determination as well. And now you have some decisions to make. What do you want to show? You could have some arms. So I'm going to think of but this angel's wearing a robe. I'm going to make very large sleeves coming down. And I have the wrists coming together and hands clasped. Is it? option and again you can add decoration for the robe what does that look like are these robes simple are they detailed they have, they have fancy designs on them you can decide that yourself and it might be fun to think about this from different directions so we could even take this entire angel and flip over to the back side and continue how I showed you before and you can decorate the back side, the wings of your angel, and the robe as well. So I'm going to leave that up to you to, to finish your project. I cannot wait to see what you come up with for your angel. I hope you had fun. Thank you. So here you can see my angel. I've added a little bit of color, some shading with a pencil. I have taken the wings. I have even folded them so you can cover the angel's face and I decorated the other side as well. I've not finished, but that just gives you some ideas where you can go with this.